you, Dan knows the task right now. He's pretending to be Chappelle, talking to Fox News about being uh, the state of know, comedy. Yes, the state of state comedy, of comedy free speech. fighting PC culture. You're if you're, if the closest thing you have to a brother, Louis J. Gomez, <laughs> happens to come up, <laughs> feel free, feel free to roll with that for a little bit. Just throwing it back to Lewis over and over is so funny. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm muting and now adding call. Shh. Wait, we can be cool. We can talk. We can be quiet. You can't link till she answers, so shut know up, that. Shut up, dude. Shut up. This is so funny. Shh. Everyone be quiet. It's not muted. Shut up, Dave. No. Oh, it's so no. loud. Oh, hey, Dave. How are you? Hello? Hello? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, I'm good. I'm, I'm on a train, so apologies. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, it's quite all right. I'm outside. I just want to call you real quick because I know I only have about four minutes. That's okay. I have like 1% battery. So <laughs> oh, well, I just said I, I wanted to get in quick and talk to you about Louis J. Gomez. Easily one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. Yes. I mean, that man is very important to me. He is like a brother. Yes. I've been with him through thick and thin. We have established a, a connection that is a bond that is unbreakable. Yes. I would honestly say I'd take a bullet for Louis J. <laughs> yeah, no, he was incredible. I mean, I met him at Gas Digital, and he was so influential. Gas Digital is uh, is crazy how hard I've seen him work on it and how incredible. The, the one problem is, is the website. I keep telling him. I say, Louis, you got to fix the website. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I've been on this site because I was obviously doing research prior to it. I mean, it's good. I mean, he's just, like, incredible. I didn't even know much about him until I started working on this, and I was I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I have seen a lot of this stuff in comedy. And Lewis is easily... I, a lot of people call him a Puerto, Puerto Rican rattlesnake. I would say he is a Puerto Rican giant. He's a giant man. I've yeah. seen him... I've seen him dead hundreds of women. I've seen them <laughs> throw on comedy festivals that are so legendary that people got diseases. This man has done more for comedy than anybody in the world. And his yeah. son, his son James, if he doesn't eat, Lewis will rip someone's head off. <laughs> well, I love that. Um, I mean, he was incredibly kind, too, which was another thing. He oh, he the sweetest <laughs> man. I have him in my phone as Lewis the Peach, because he's a true peach. Yeah, he was very generous. I mean, he let us into his entire studio. He has to tour. pretend this is all normal. <laughs> he, 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 he was just incredibly, incredibly generous. What's incredible is that he actually <laughs> campaigned for Joe Biden, which I find oh very, a lot of people don't know that. Oh, that's a lot good. of people don't know, yeah, Lewis is very liberal, almost, yeah. danger, almost dangerously liberal. Yeah, he, um, I actually, you know, it's, you know what I like about that, though, because first of all, it's good to get people that aren't just super conservative, especially working for someone like Tucker, because then it gets the message out even stronger. Tucker has my number. <laughs> he told me that he doesn't even believe in science when it comes to sex. He says that's how liberal he is. He believes we're all just a mishmash, different bag of body parts. Oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> it's insane. I'm telling you right now, it's almost like he's sick in the head, but he's a good man. Again, Louis the Peach. Yeah, no, no, I loved him, and he, um, you know, obviously said the same about you when I mentioned, and I know, Dave, I mean, obviously, you get a thousand he million it about him and he won't let her. the guy in comedy, um, and your oh, SNL oh. monologue, by the way, was, I mean, the fact that, obviously, your genius at your comedy, but the fact that you have the courage. I don't even, anything. honestly, honestly, I just, the second Lewis reached out, I said, I have to talk to him. I have to talk to anybody who's friends with Lewis, because I love him like a brother. <laughs> His MMA training reminds me of Rocky and Rocky IV. He just always, you know, and what's great about Lewis is he can get so fat and then he can get so muscular. Oh, he was in really good shape. We went there. Oh, yeah, but that, 
Lewis. Yeah. He, he fluctuates. That's why I'm worried about Lewis. I'm worried about his fluctuation in weight. Oh, man. Well, he did, well, I'll tell you from experience from a week and a half ago, he was looking very good. So. Okay. Uh, well, good. Sometimes he gets incredibly emotional about things. I love him would, so much. Yeah, no, he, so he basically, we had this idea for, a, um, you know, it's a documentary episode. It's like a 30-minute episode on exploring comedy right now because obviously with woke culture and cancel culture, there's so many... Which Lewis things. is behind, I must say. Lewis is behind that. Well, he, so, he acts like he isn't, but he is. He loves woke culture. So when, but the interesting thing, when I interviewed him, his insight into what was happening, like, changed our entire premise of the documentary. It was about how, Good. like, the sanctuaries are existing for comics to still do, like, real unfiltered comedy. Because live comedy has always been, you know, the dangerous, edgy comedy. You don't know what's going to happen once you're on stage, right? So exactly. He, you don't know what, but you know what you're going to get with Louis J. Gomez. You're going to yeah. get a man that stands up for people. You're going to get a man that fluctuates dangerously in weight. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you definitely stop for the, for the art, especially <laughs> And the fans will always follow the talent. They'll always follow, you know, the funny. You really can't censor it. Yeah. People like you. I feel like she Lewis, loves me so much. Wow. I mean, again, Lewis is so important for it. He is, he's important for it. And I know how liberal he is. So I know it hurts him. I know it hurts him. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, he, I mean, he was. I, I mean, just wish, I, I just wish he would stop having such an aggressive foot fetish. Okay, well, if he wants you for pictures of your feet, just politely decline. Because I told you the fluctuation in weight mixed with the people like that can be very dangerous. <laughs> well, now I'm, now I'm wondering, I'm like, were my feet not good enough? I, I have to. Uh, <laughs> You wanted to fuck, dude. If, if you show your toes, just get ready for him to lose his goddamn mind. And if you wiggle him, he'll probably come his pants. Well, oh my God, that is so I funny. gotta go. You've been very nice. I'm sorry, I gotta run, but I was not no. talking to you. And uh, totally well, hopefully I'll reach out. Yeah, um, are you going to think about it at all? It would be like a few I'll think days. about it, and I'll let you know. I'm going to think about Lewis a little bit more, too, but I got to go. <laughs> well, I and, uh, and we'll talk soon. Absolutely. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Dave. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Dude, you're a legend, man. <laughs> that, that, and I mean it like I mean that genuine, up 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 there with anything. You you were you were no 